Hi Taurus, this is your bonus reading for January 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Taurus, this is you. This is your partner. So, Taurus, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For January 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Taurus, is the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you and your partner are taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Taurus could be dealing with a Virgo, but listen, someone here could tell me, hey, I just need some me time. You know, someone could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching here or went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the hermit for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the hermit for Taurus and their partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, listen, you know, someone could be looking into their coins here. Mm -hmm. However, Taurus, someone here wants to wait, contemplate and debate, do some soul searching on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Taurus, you have the sun. You have yourself, the king of pentacles. You have the nine of wands. Your partner has the ten of swords. Your partner has justice. And your partner has the two of cups. Hmm. So, Taurus, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, someone could be looking into their coins, their money, their bank account. However, Taurus, someone may want to wait, contemplate, and debate, do some heavy-duty soul-searching on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Taurus, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. So Taurus could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you can tell me that you're happy. Or you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, 
Virgo, or Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Now, Taurus, this is you. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me something was illuminated, okay, and there was a confrontation, or maybe you're waiting to confront take this person maybe you're just waiting contemplating and debating but taurus when we're dealing with the three of wands this is you expecting something here so is there a confrontation about you expecting something here taurus you have the king of pentacles this is you taurus virgo or capricorn this king is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources this could be a business owner ceo independent contractor manager so taurus this is you clarify the king of pentacles for taurus clarify the king of pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Taurus could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, listen, this could all have something to do with work or business here. Maybe you're wanting to throw yourself into your work, maybe because of financial sake. However, Taurus, you know, someone may want to work things out here. Taurus, you have the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that your guard is all the way up. You're highly suspicious. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're standing your ground here mm -hmm, or you're being persistent. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the devil. 
could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' this relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Taurus, listen, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you can tell me that something is toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Taurus, some type of shocking revelation here. And it very well could be causing a breakup or a breakdown or a shakeup or a shakedown. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. You can tell me that this is about divine timing. But is it an actual change in your luck and fortune? Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Taurus, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Taurus, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Taurus, it is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, there's been some type of shakeup here, and I feel like maybe you're blocking, blocking. But Taurus, you could also be indecisive here, okay? Maybe searching your emotions and being indecisive here, but a little hesitant. So Taurus, I feel like you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching here. Could be waiting, okay? Actually waiting. Taurus, it could also be something involving coins here. Taurus, your partner has the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal, but 10s are ending, so your partner could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal, but betrayed nonetheless. Clarify the 10 of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the 10 of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. 
a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal because you had new love, but I think it's a blessing, Taurus. Are you being confronted about something that you receive? It's being illuminated that you receive something here? This the shakeup is happening because of actual change in your luck and fortune? Is it some type of blessing that you have, Taurus, that is causing them some type of betrayal? I don't know. You guys may have had some type of agreement. Taurus, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Taurus could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that something isn't fair. Something isn't balanced. Something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Taurus's partner. Clarify justice for Taurus's partner. Clarify justice for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, your partner could be weighing something out, trying to decide here. I don't know, maybe to take something to the justice system. Your partner could tell me that it's balance, balance. Something is with the balance here. However, your partner could tell me that something wasn't fair, wasn't balanced, it wasn't just because of juggling here. Do you have no love? Taurus, your partner has the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, your partner is telling me that you guys have this soulmate connection, but what's going on with it? Clarify the two of cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So Taurus, listen. <clears throat> Your partner could tell me that they're conflicted within concerning you guys' soulmate connection. However, you guys could have got into a heated discussion or argument, okay? There is a confrontation taking place. Now, Taurus, listen, I feel like, yes, someone is doing some heavy-duty soul-searching on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. But, Taurus, is it was it found out? Did someone search and find out that there was some type of abundance here, Taurus? Because your partner saying they're feeling a be sense of betrayal because you have this blessing. And, Taurus, was it that something came into you and it was illuminated, causing some type of confrontation? Some type of shake up because there was a change in your luck and fortune. And did you guys have some type of agreement here? Taurus, this is your bonus reading for January 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.